We live in northern Michigan in an old farmhouse, and we work in a barn next door. I'm Philip Stead. I'm Erin Stead. And this is our studio, welcome. Over here, we have our community workspace. This is where we start our day, and sometimes where we finish our day too. So Erin might have some sketches or early drawings out, I might have my writing out, and we'll talk about combining those two, hopefully, into uh, some working piece of the book. Maybe the most important part of the day is choosing the music. This is always a tense time. What will we put on? Erin might choose Night Beat by Sam Cooke. I might be more inclined for something a little darker. Bruce Springsteen's Nebraska, for example. If there's any tension, it's because music really sets the tone in the studio for the day. But really, there's no trouble. Except when there is. <laughs> this is our pinup wall where we go through and post things throughout making a book. Works in progress, sketches, ideas. This is Mark Twain's birthplace and childhood home for a few years. This little typewritten quote has existed in every workspace that we've had. It says, the bitterness of poor quality remains long after the sweetness of low price is forgotten. Ben Franklin. Over here we have our dog Wednesday. She has been present for every book that we've made. She comes to work every morning and she lets us know if there's a turkey walking through the yard or maybe a deer. Around 10 o'clock every night she ends up tapping our desks and starts herding us out the door. Wednesday doesn't like to work late. <laughs> Over here we have our flat files. Every drawer here houses a book, uh, either a book in progress or a book that's finished. Right here we have the Mark Twain drawer, but I'm not ready to show you what's inside yet. Over here is my desk. This is where I spend most of my day. Sometimes I'm working on artwork, sometimes I'm working on writing, sometimes I'm just dropping pencils. <laughs> This is my desk. This is where I do most of my final art. I tend to find my drawing table a little intimidating, and so I reserve this space only for when I'm doing final illustrations, the ones that you see in the book. So up these stairs, we have our library, where we house all of the books that we look to for inspiration. It's also a great place to take naps. And lastly, when we renovated this 100-year-old barn into a studio, we unearthed this horseshoe and it reminds us that we always need a little bit of good luck. So thanks for visiting, guys. Thanks, everybody. We hope to see you again.